Hi guys, it's Shannon and today I'm going to be doing a testing video on the Revolution uh, Forever Flawless palettes. So the, there's a reason that this video is such a long time coming and it's because I actually filmed this once already and uh, whilst filming that I actually had an allergic reaction to the wipes I was using to remove the makeup. Um, so I had to stop filming for a while. Uh, and try and get that under control. Also, um, I did a boo-boo and I literally just finished editing the video and deleted the original footage. So I did a boo-boo. Um, <clears throat> so I'm really filming. As I sit here right now, I, <laughs> I go on holiday in six days, um, but this isn't due to go up while I'm on holiday. This is either gonna go up before or after. I've already scheduled the videos for while I'm on holiday. I've already scheduled the videos for while I'm on holiday. Um, so hopefully you'll enjoy them. Uh, but yeah, so I'm just gonna apply a eyeshadow base and get straight into the video. Hope you enjoy, bye. So I've applied the base. What I did was stop waving a brush around and I used the cut crease, the Revolution cut crease canvas in Illustrate as the base and then I just put the PS My Perfect Colour pressed powder foundation in porcelain uh, just to set it. This is coming up in a later video, it's coming up while I'm away. Um, but yeah, so I'm just going to dip, I'm going to go into the Forever Flawless Decadent Palette first. Um, this is the one that's kind of causing me some issues because I peeled this off to see if there was anything underneath important, but now it won't stay stuck and it's bugging me to no end. <laughs> I hate it. Um, so I might have to super glue it down. People say I have the subtlety of a bull in a china shop. I'd say that's pretty much right, wouldn't you? Okay, so uh, first shade, I'm, gonna, I'm just gonna take a fluffy brush. Uh, do you like my new brushes by the way? They're all sparkly. I love them. Okay, so um, first shade I'm going to go into is the shade Sahara. Uh, and I'm just going to put that into the crease. There isn't a really light shade for me to just dust all over, which is why I've uh, done the powder foundation first. I'm gonna take a different brush and I'm gonna go into the shade um, Sienna, which is the first shade in the palette. And I'm just gonna put that into the crease as well to just deepen it up slightly. I'm pretty sure I'm getting all this. Yep, I'm getting eyeshadow all over my keyboard. <laughs> Fun. So next I'm gonna go into the shade Scorched, which is a lovely pink red kind of shade. I'm just going to show you on the end of the brush. Come on, focus on that. Don't focus on my face. Focus on that. Come on. Doesn't want to focus. Fine, I'll show you the palette. So it's at the bottom here. It's just the shade Scorched right here, this one. And I'm going to put that into the crease uh, because this is quite a, this is a warm toned palette. And to be honest with you, this kind of reminds me of one of the Natasha Denona palettes. What's it called? Is it the Sun, sun, desert sun or something like that. Um, that's what this reminds me of, just because I've seen people use, like I've seen other YouTubers use it and the color, like the color story kind of reminds me of it. To be honest with you, most of these uh, Forever Flawless palettes remind me of different, like high-end luxury palettes. Um, but obviously these are like £10 each. Can't really go wrong, can you? Especially if they're on a discount. Because, um, I don't know if I've mentioned, but I got all of these in a discount. So I actually got three of them for 17 quid, and then I paid full price for one. So, this is what it's looking like so far. Um, if I keep looking off, it's because my mirror is like... It's not, it's like over here to the side slightly. Yeah, my mirror is here with the lights on. So I'm like looking to make sure I'm still in shock because obviously I've lowered it. But sometimes I'm like, I'm sitting up, I'm slouching, I'm blip, da, 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 da. 
Uh, so I'm. I apologise for that. I'm doing. I was doing it right then, but I apologise for that. Um, but yeah, I think these are blending really well so far. So we're just going to keep going. Um, next, I'm going to go with the shade Lavish, which is this shade right here. So you can see I've used this a couple of times because like I said, I've already filmed this video um, once before. But I will say that the palette gets dirty. Um, like a lot of the palettes I have, like you can just like wipe them and they're clean. This one doesn't seem to want that. <laughs> it just kind of stays dirty. Right, so I'm gonna go into the shade Lavish and I'm gonna put that on the outer and inner corners of my eye. Now I'm going to go into the shade Splendid and I'm just going to deepen up this outer edge a little bit. I'm just going to go into the shade Pearls and I'm going to, oh, uh, where's Splendid gone? So there's Splendid. I'm now going to go into the shade Pearls and put that on the inner corner. Why am I using that mirror when I can just use the mirror on here? Ooh, it's a nice colour, especially for in the corner highlight for my skin tone. I like that, that's nice. Um, and then on my finger, I'm going to take the shade Gleam and I'm just going to put that over the centre. So then I'm just going to go in with the brush I've been using to blend. I'm just going to soften that slightly. And then I'm going to go in with a clean blending brush and blend the edges so it's not so harsh. Okay, so this is the look I've been able to come up with. Uh, it's a very, like, nude, very basic look. Um, but I actually quite like it. I think it's a very nice warm toned look, which obviously this palette is very warm. Hi guys, just editing this video and I realised... Um, the, the rest of the looks are not as complicated as the previous one and that is because I just overcomplicated the first one and then I decided to do simpler looks for the rest of the palettes because let's face it, on the everyday basis I'm not going to be putting 10,000 layers of eyeshadow on my eyeballs. Um, so I hope you guys enjoy the rest of these looks. I'm going to go into the Unconditional Love palette. So this is a very uh, pink and purple toned palette. Um, because I suppose when this would have launched it would have been just after Valentine's Day so kind of makes sense um, but yeah so I'm just gonna mm, do a look with this I'm just gonna change my brush out though let's go with this one Ew. Okay. so I'm gonna go into the shade committed which is this one right here oh, dunking my fingers and everything in and I'm just gonna put that into the crease. Next, I'm gonna go into the first shade of the palette called Promiser, uh, and I'm just gonna deepen up that crease a bit further. I always find my left eye just a little bit harder to do because I'm right-handed. Uh, for those of you that don't know, because I know some of you know, because obviously, like my dad watches these videos and so does my sister um, and so does Mad Mac. For those of you who don't know, it's actually my birthday at the end of the month. My sister actually dropped around my uh, presents today because I'm not here over my birthday. So she's dropped them around and she got me some really nice stuff. She got me some makeup to try out um, that she thought I'd like. Um, she got me some uh, she got me a bath bomb and she got this really cute um like i don't know plastic bathtub but it's only small it's from wilkinson's i think i've seen it in there before anyway it's this really cute plastic bathtub she thought i could keep some bath bombs in it's really cute um it's awesome uh she also got me some canvases because i like to paint uh but i haven't done it in a really long time and she thought it would be good for because me and Mad Mac are planning on moving soon she thought it would be good for me to design some pieces of art that we can hang in the house uh, okay so next I'm gonna go into the shade attached which is this deep purple right here and 
and again that's just going to go into the crease and into my outer corner um, well, she, she got me a new scrunchie she knew I was after one because um, mine broke to be fair I've had it ages but mine broke and she got me some unicorn bath salts because I have issues and I'm obsessed with unicorns Galaxies and unicorns, they're my thing. If you guys want a, uh, what I got for my birthday video, let me know in the comments. But next, I'm gonna take the shade Adore into my inner corner. That looks like it's maybe a little bit dark for an inner corner highlight for my skin tone, but it's not too bad. Um, and then next, I'm gonna go in with my finger into the shade First Date, which is this bubblegum pink color. And I'm just gonna put that all over the lid. And then finally, I'm just going to go back in with that brush and blend out the edges. So this is uh, how the eye look came out. Um, I can't wink with this eye, so I can't really see it. Uh, yeah, I really like it. I think these colours work... I really like it. I think these colours work really, really well together. And they all blend seamlessly. I mean, my blending job is terrible, but... Let me just uh, fix this outer, this outer corner issue right here. That's better. Um, but yeah, they blended seamlessly and they're very pigmented and they're beautiful. And those shimmer shades are gorgeous, even just with my finger. Um, but yeah, I really like both these palettes. Uh, so I'm just gonna go and remove this, reapply the base, and then I'll be back with the last two palettes. Okay, so that's done. I've taken it off, reapplied the base, just did the exact same base as I'd done before. Um, just before I do the next palette, I actually want to show you guys these things that my auntie brought me. And they're reusable cotton pads. And all you have to do is use, like this one's the one I just used, so it's absolutely filthy. And they come with a little net bag. And as you can see, I've actually used one already and you just throw them in the net bag and you throw, whoop. when they're all done, you just throw the whole thing in the washing machine, whole thing in the dryer, and then you're not having to constantly replenish cotton pads. Plus obviously that means that's better for the environment. Um, I mean, I'm not like an environment activist. I just think, you know, save yourself. These, I don't know how much these were. I think these were about 15 quid, but you get four different colors and you get six of each color so i think that's pretty good and they're bigger than hang on i've got actual cotton pads here um and they're like a fair amount bigger than your average cotton pad i'd even go as far to say as they're almost double the size um but i just thought these would be really good um i'll get the link off my auntie and i will uh leave it in the description box for you uh anyway next i'm gonna go into the optimum palette so this one in my opinion my personal opinion reminds me of the abh subculture palette is it no just me i don't think it's just me to be honest um so first color i'm going to go into is prime so that blended really well again my blending skills are not up to par but i really liked it next i'm going to go into the shade fighter which is the green just so you know, this look might not make sense because I want to see how pigmented the different colours are. So I doubt this look's going to make sense. Okay, you are wonky. I was like, hang on. <laughs> I look awful. I look hippie. Okay. Next, I'm going to go into the shade Own, which is the red colour right here. I'm going to put that on the outer corner of my eye. I feel like if I was actually taking my time with this palette, I'd actually be able to make a look with these colours work. But because... I'm only testing out the different colours and the pigmentation and stuff. I'm not really blending it as well as I pos as well as I probably could. Um, I'm just seeing if they blend well together and if they blend onto a base and that. Other than that, I'm not blending like the edges and stuff. Um, but they're all. I'm presuming they're all the same formula and they all seem really good so far. And not too much fallout, a little bit, especially with the brighter colours. But so far, it's not too bad. Please excuse the face, by the way. I've had. Uh, my hay fever has been really bad recently it always always affects my skin and for some reason it's been a hundred times worse than usual uh, i feel like if i hadn't put that red on top of a green it would have come out more pigmented but considering i did put it on top of the green they've blended really well and i actually really like the color 
believe it or not. <laughs> um, next, I'm just going to go into my inner corner with the shade Peak, which is the first shade in the palette. That's a really nice colour for me, actually. That's a really nice uh, inner corner highlight for my skin tone. Go in the pot. Thank you. And then lastly, I'm going to go into the shade Advantage, which is a nice bright orange shade, and just put that on my lid using my finger. See, look, I kind of feel like if I went in and cleaned up a bit and got rid of the fallout that was like over here by my nose and all this and cleaned up just around my eye, I feel like this look wouldn't be too bad. And that orange is phenomenal. Considering I put that on dark colours, that's phenomenal. And okay, so the last palette I'm gonna use is the Constellation palette. And honestly, my favourite packaging is this one, because like I said, Galaxy obsessed. <laughs> um, I'm gonna try and do a more bold look because obviously these are so bright. Um, but I don't use a lot of bold colours, but the reason I brought this is because I want to. Because I feel like, especially like maybe the purple and the pink would really make my eye colour pop because I have... My eyes are kind of weird. I have blue eyes, but sometimes they look lighter and sometimes they look darker. Um, although I do wish I had Mad Max eyes. His eyes are actually a really nice grey. Um, I, lo I love his eyes. Although I'm kind of biased though, aren't I? <laughs> um, but honestly, his eyes are so unique. I don't think I've seen anyone with a grey eye before but his little sister actually has the same eye colour and honestly this kid she's like her eye it suits her so well honestly okay so i'm gonna go into asteroid and just put that all over the lid so as i'm filming this it's actually easter um like it's easter bank holiday weekend and so far i've done nothing <laughs> um i mean my dad's come over a couple of times and I've basically just sat around and ate chocolate, really. I'm a 22 year old woman and I'm doing the same thing I did when I was five. Okay, I'm gonna go into the shade. No, I don't know, look like that. Um, screw it. I'm gonna go into the shade Cosmic, which is this bright purple shade. We'll see how this turns out. That's really nice. That's a. In the pan, it looks a very vibrant purple, but it's coming out softer, but it's very buildable. I really like that. Okay, so to go with that, I'm now gonna go into the shade Venus, which is this hot pink color. And I'm just gonna go into the outer edge of my eye with that. Okay, and finally, well not finally, the next thing I'm going to go is I'm going to go into the shade Celestial, which is the first shade in the palette, and put that on the inner corner. Oh, I really like that shade. Just to clarify, I have been trying to use different brushes for each eyeshadow, just so they don't, ooh, hello, cross over or anything. Um, okay. And the last thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go into the shade... satin which is this like greeny blue turquoisey kind of color and i'm just going to take that on my finger look at that color i'm going to put that onto my eye lid and then i'm just going to take that pink brush i'm just going to blend the edges i actually really like that eye look i know the colors don't really work together but i actually really like it so that was me trying out all of the Revolution Forever Flawless palettes. Um, oh, I'm really close. I'm going to back up the camera a bit so I can sit the way I want to sit without you being that close. Hello. Oh, there we go. Okay. Um, I actually really like these palettes. I think they work really well. There's not too much fallout coming off of them. And the colours are amazing. Um, I feel like they blend really well together and blend well onto a base. Uh, if I had to pick one to recommend, it really depends. If you're looking for a bright one, I definitely recommend Celest Celestial. Is that what's called? No, Constellation, sorry. But if you want a more nude palette, I definitely recommend the Decadent palette. That was the first palette I used. Um, because 
there's it's just so much to work with in there but I love all four of the palettes um, and for the price you really can't complain really um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did give it a thumbs up for me if you're enjoying me and my content hit that subscribe button and ring that bell and you'll get notified every time I upload uh, I hope you're all having a lovely week and I'll see you through the screen bye guys